And just for the record, what the heck is this? Hi you guys, I'm Rebecca Robeson and thanks for coming back to my channel today. I'm going to take you through another room of my house in this series we're calling Using What You Have Decorating. It's essentially using all the things that you have, but if they don't quite fit like they did in your last house, you might have to get creative. And that's exactly what I had to do here in my guest room. <music> Good bedroom design, I think, involves picking a focal point. In this room, I wanted it to be straight ahead when I walked in the room. Turns out there was symmetrical windows on this wall, so that was perfect. I could have put it on this wall as well, but this high headboard would have covered up most of these windows. So this one fit perfectly. Then I create symmetry by adding matching nightstands and a pair of lamps. You can see here, this is what's super different about the way this was in my last house. This is exactly the bed that I had in my guest bedroom, and this is the exact bedding. How many of you remember it in my last house? Welcome back. We're back to it. Welcome so when I got here, I had to decide, well then what nightstands? I had the nightstands that were smaller that I used in my guest house last time in my guest room. Turns out my master bedroom is super narrow. Really long, but very narrow. So I just did a switcheroo. My, 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 we been gone, but now we back where <gasps> Look we at that. Long. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is like within the hair on our chinny chin chin. Welcome back. We're back to it. Now this is a strong contrast between all this white, the white linen and the white bedding, and then these really beautiful, almost espresso, like a chocolate colored stained wood nightstands. But they're perfect for guests. I can put extra sheets and towels. I can also put in there a, a USB um, extension cord inside the drawer so people can plug their phones in. That's a great thing to do for a guest, don't you think? The pair of large oversized nightstands was perfect to put a pair of lamps on. You may remember these lamps. I used them in my office in Presidio Park, and I think they look amazing here. The beautiful color of the linen is very warm as opposed to the very white here, but look at the yellow in the bedding. It just ties it in so beautifully with well-appointed accessories that sit on either side on the nightstands. These windows are fabulous because at a certain time of the year when the trees outside are blooming, they bloom white petals. They're dogwood trees. And you can imagine how, what a full look this is on this wall. I'd love for you to, well, I'll tell you what. I will take a picture next spring and I'll be sure to post it on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, it's Rebecca Robeson. All right, we got that out of the way. Now, back to this space. What else did I use in here that you've seen in other places in my home or in my old office? The area rug that anchors the bed. I was delighted when I realized this 10 by 12 rug that is a, a Dury rug. It's very hardy, very, very organic looking, would fit into this room. You know, when you put a rug underneath of a bed, it's classiest if it literally goes under the bed and has enough room. This has probably 24 inches, I'd say, on either side and a deeper piece here in the front of extra walking room that you can use. Using a large area rug will make your room look bigger. Now the colors in here, this is kind of a blue-gray. You might think, well, why would you use a blue-gray rug? Well, let me tell you how I did it successfully. I had to think about it. How would I tie it in so that it didn't look like it stood out? Playing around with the decor options I had in this room, I had a lot of things to choose from because I came from a large house with a lot of supplies. I chose this grouping of art for several reasons. First off, I like the fact that there's two on top of each other, 
keeping a very vertical line, but then horizontally it gets larger. It's a way to take three separate pieces and make it feel like I have one large piece of art. They coordinate beautifully together. Some of you may remember my laundry room in my last house. Well, above my countertop where I had my washer and dryer, I had three pieces of art that I bought from Ikea. I only used two of the three, these two, again, because I knew that the dogwoods would be blooming in the spring and it just looked amazing. It looked like it was like all window back there, just tied it all together. But what I did was I took the cheap plexiglass that was on them and the cheap silver frames and I took them, this is the only thing I bought for this room that's new. I took them to a framer here in Tulsa and I had him change this into a brushed brass frame. I decided to use brushed brass on the frames for several reasons. One, I love the color of gray and brass together. I mean, they seem very opposite, but I like to mix finishes too. So this is brass. These lamp poles and parts of the shades are brass. But I've also got another brassy gold thing in this room that might surprise you. And you may be wondering where this fella is because you haven't seen him yet. It had a little bit of time in the hospital, but we're good now. It's like one of my favorite, favorite lamps in the whole world. Kirsten, my lighting supplier, gave me this lamp years ago and it used to sit on the desk in the Presidio office. And it has this really cool clear ball, isn't that so cool? And it sits in its hand, but look, you see the top? That's a, that's a bird's head coming out of the top of that lampshade. Is this the perfect spot for it? Well, actually, if it wants to live in this house, it is for now. But I think it works here just by sliding the TV over and the black goes with the black. Look, the chest of drawers that was in my master bedroom. This is a pretty large piece, but thank God it's to the right. Can you imagine if this door was in the center of this wall, this piece would have been a goner. No place in this house to put it. In here, you walk in the bedroom and it is back like this. So it's not the first thing you see, but what it does is it ties in those nightstands and makes it look purposeful. It's also large enough for a huge television for a guest. And this is the TV that used to hang on the wall in my dining room. I think I inherited it from Scott. Shh, don't tell him, because I don't think he knows I took it yet. Turn it up right now. Feel it going down. About to turn it up. The last thing here that I want to show you is this chair. You know where I got this chair? At World Market. When I moved into this house, now if you've seen the, okay, I have an empty house tour of my new home, and I also have a move-in tour. In the move-in tour, we explained to you that I actually lived in this house completely empty, except for a few key pieces that I bought as inexpensive as possible and used until my pods got here. That was two months. This chair is really comfortable, and I feel very good that I didn't have to buy anything new for this room in and of itself. This I already bought, right? So this was already here. Now, I take a look around and I think, you know, just for the plain fact that I used what I had, I think I made this room look pretty darn good. A few modifications, the new framing, taking these colors and making them work together. you're wondering, is it going to stay like this? Of course not. Are you kidding? Nothing stays the same way all the time. This works for now, but there are a few things, even with this coloring that I have, that I'd like to add. I'm considering doing window panels on either side to soften the room and on either side of the nightstand. I think that would look amazing. And then the last thing I would do is I'd probably change out these handles. I think the thing I don't like about these the most, but I loved when I got it, the knobs have rhinestones on them. Some of you will love that, and a lot of you will hate it. I'm somewhere in the, I think it's probably time to change those out. Leave me a comment below and let me know, should I change out the rhinestone handles? If you like this video, Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, of course, and subscribe to this channel. 
But just so you know, because I love you so much, I'm not done. I'm gonna show you my guest bathroom. Here's the nice thing. The guest bathroom is very centrally located and easy to get to from the guest bedroom. Now, let me just set this up for you. I can tell you right now, when I toured this house for the first time, this bathroom was one that when I walked in, I did not like it, but I had an immediate vision for what it could look like. And can I just tell you, hold on to your socks. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be so fabulous. Meanwhile, it's kind of a big deal, so I'm gonna be doing that later this year. I was sort of put in a position where guests were arriving and I had to make it look as good as possible for now. With what? Using what I have. To start with, I needed some place for storage. And then I remembered I have all those cubicle boxes that used to be up in the top of the closet in my house in my master bedroom. I kept them. Well, why not stack them on top of each other and make two tables, essentially, that are symmetrical. And look what it does. It gives me a place to put towels. And then there's places down here for things like this. You have guests coming. Well, they might need dental floss, soap, and Q-tips. And they also might need extra toothbrushes, which I have under here in a plethora of different styles. And what I like about these cubbies is that they're see-through. So it's not like people walk into a big chunky piece of furniture, but you know what I think I did that was the most clever? I decided, hello, you have a pedestal sink, you don't have a mirror. No, you, you have a window that you can look at at your neighbors, but you can't see while you're putting your makeup on or doing your hair or brushing your teeth. So I needed to put a mirror here somewhere and I remembered this mirror that I used to have over the sink in my Presidio office downtown. But look how perfect it is. The roundness of it just fits right in the center of these windows and then hangs above it. From my view here, looking back, what I see is this very awkward little weird shower. And just for the record, what the heck is this? Have you ever seen a shower with what looks to be tension rods before? Like, can this even be moved? Probably shouldn't try it, but I hate that. <laughs> I think that is the weirdest thing. Doesn't it look like you should take it, put it sideways, run it from one side of your back seat to the other and hang some clothes on it? I'm just saying. I do really wanna redo this bathroom, but I have a problem in this room. The door to get in is over so far to the side that it takes up so much space because the door runs into the wall. Nothing can go on that wall. So part of my plans are going to include a first impression amazing wow right here in front of the windows. It's also going to include the doorway being moved to the center of the room. I don't know what that's going to cost, but I'm going to look into it and I'll let you know. So that concludes today's episode on my guest bedroom and bathroom where I used what I had. I think today's takeaway, as well as the takeaway in all of this series on using what you have, is sometimes it's not that you don't have the right things, is that you don't have them in the right location. So take a look around your house. See if there's anything that you picked up today that you could implement in your own home. If that was the case and you made some improvements, you would make my day because that's why I do this. I do this to help and inspire you. All right, you guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know what you think. And uh, of course, you know, I said it earlier, but in case it didn't make it in the video, because that's how Dorian is, remember to subscribe, give a thumbs up to this video, and just know that I love you guys and I will see you next time. So today, I'm gonna to take you through my family room. I know, honey. I didn't mention you when we were doing the walkthrough because I thought you, would, you wouldn't want the attention.